The enemy has secondary reinforcements on standby. Now they will witness the power of a fully functional Death Star. Hi, just a coffee, please. Thanks. Anaisha? Yes? Do you think I could take the rest of the day off today? Yes, of course. Is everything okay? You look a little down. Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. You can take a week off if you want. It look like you need it. And I can call somebody to cover your ships. It's okay? okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Is that the lovely bones you're reading? Excuse me? The book. Lovely bones, right? Yes, it is, but who the hell are you? Oh, you mind if I sit here? Well, it would have been nice for you to ask first. You've already made yourself comfortable, so go right ahead. You know, they made a movie about that a few years back. How's the book? It's pretty good. I'm actually reading it for a criminology class. Criminology? Wow, that sounds like heavy stuff. Tell me about it. It's been kicking my butt. <laughs> Enough about me. Are you from around here? You could say that. Wow, okay. So what do you do for a living? I work in transactions of sorts. Transactions? That sounds shady. No. Wow, you're really playing this mysterious angle, aren't you? Hey, whatever works. It doesn't work. You're definitely putting the cart before the horse. All right. How about we uh, change it up then? Like what? Like death. What are your thoughts about death? What do you mean, death? Death, dying, expiring, passing on. 
What are your thoughts about what happens when the soul leaves the body forever? Do you believe the body just rots away in the earth for all eternity? Or do you believe in heaven and hell, God and the devil? There's just two kinds of people in this world. So which one are you? Wow, that's much deeper conversation started than I would expect to have with a stranger. But if I had to, you know, I guess I would say that I believe in heaven and hell. I'm not the best Christian in the world, and I don't go to church as much as I should, but I have my faith. Do you believe you deserve to go to heaven? I certainly hope so. Well, you might want to make your peace with God pretty quickly. Excuse me? Listen, what if I told you that there's nothing random about any of this? That I came into this coffee shop for the sole purpose of sitting in this exact seat right across from you? What do you mean, like fate? Like this was destiny? No, it's more than just fate. I'm talking about before I stepped foot in here, I knew what book you'd be reading. I know where you'd be sitting and every word that you would say to me. Okay. I'm gonna try to remain calm here because I don't wanna blow this out of proportion and cause a scene if I don't have to. But how in the hell could you possibly know all those things? Judith, you need to listen to me very carefully. How do you know my name? I said, I know everything about you. Who the hell are you? Listen, we have to get through this. Judith, there are some very bad people in the world. They don't care who they hurt, nothing matters to them. Oh my God, are you here to kill me? No, not me. So I am gonna die? Everybody dies, Judith. You know what I mean. You're saying I'm gonna die tonight. Yes. Who the hell are you? I can't tell you that. How's it going to happen? I can't tell you that either. How much longer do I have? <sighs> Not much. Fine. Everything happens for a reason. And if it's my time to die in God's will, then I can accept that.
morning, huh? Good morning. Jimmy, I filed for divorce. This, Jimmy, this is the reason why. You know I've been working on that. I can't keep doing this anymore. I'm sorry, Jimmy. I'm leaving. Please don't leave clear. Hi, Jimmy. Is my wife here? No. She asked me she could go home early today. And I don't think she was feeling good. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. Shut the hell up! Where is my wife? I told you she left. Are you, you deaf or something, or you just want to die tonight? You may be pretty, but that only exempt you from a bullet. Now hit the floor before I put you on the floor. You don't get to decide whether I live or die tonight, and you never did. Do what you're gonna do. I'm tired of waiting. My mother always told me that life has a way of passing you by. Hopes, dreams, babies, 129 things on your bucket list. You know, things like that. And if you muster the courage, the strength, you finish. But regret, oh regret chokes you, and then you die. But on this day, at this moment, I truly understand the meaning of God's grace. Now as I stand here, thinking, wondering, 
I never did figure out who that messenger was. And how did he know what was set to happen? How did he even find me? Wait, was he an angel sent to test me? Maybe, I'll never know. But what I do know is that I am a child of the Most High God, and I accept his will, whatever that may be. This whole thing, staring into the face of death, it truly brought me back from the spiritual distractions I was living in a day to day. I understand forgiveness, even if there is no regret in the heart of him that did this to me. I feel a stillness. I reach back to the only true source of calm and strength. The regret that I had almost given away to shall not be fulfilled. God has shown me once again that everything is in God's time. And I accept his mercy in full faith and thankfulness. Do I deserve this? Knowing I wasted time by losing my focus on him as I turned to my worldly doings? Maybe not. But that's what grace is all about. And the fact that I owe my Savior much more than being lazy with his blessings. I can hear a still small voice telling me to be still and know that I am God. And that is exactly what I will do.